Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kirsten with Daily Devotions of Inner Beauty and I am going to talk today on a topic called about idolatry. And uh, but first I wanted to just kind of take a little side note and let you all know that I am feeling so much better. I know I have had a few of you reach out via email and um, ask how I'm doing and I really appreciate it. It makes my heart really happy to, uh, he to hear from you. And I want you all to know that I am feeling so much better. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't wait 15 years to go to the doctor. I thought I was healthy and all it takes is one little thing to get you to get to the doctor and then you find out everything that's wrong with you. So that's kind of what happened to me. And so now I am feeling every every bit as old as I am. I, I thought, you know, I, I'm i in my mid 40s and nothing um, was wrong with me. Um, but then I go to the doctor and I find out what is wrong with me. And so yes, now I'm in my well into my 40s and I'm on Oh gosh, random medications, uh, <laughs> just normal old people medications, I guess, even though older people than me might think I'm not old and whatever. I I didn't think I was old either, but now I look at my little medi set and I <laughs> start kind of wondering. So anyway, off that topic, I wanted to also um, bring up the fact that my grandbaby is due in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be a first time grandma and my daughter is uh, due December 12th, I believe. And uh, she's having a little boy named Steele. And so I will probably put just a little video up of him when he gets here on this channel so that you all can see, because I know some of you have also asked about that. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Today's subject is on idolatry. And we're gonna go to Psalm 135, 15 through 18. Uh, this is a little devotion book that I read every morning. And um, this subject was in here. So I thought I wanted to put this on my video. And so that you guys can uh, kind of learn a little bit about it and what idolatry really means. But let me go ahead and read Psalm 135, 15 through 18 real quick. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them, make the idols, are like unto them. So is everyone that trusteth in them. So idols don't have life. They can't give us life. They can't speak transforming words into us. They don't know our past, present, and future. They can't help us when we are crying out for help. So why do we make them an idol? Why do we put them up when we know they can't do anything for us? They are lifeless. They they don't work for us and but yet we make them an idol as if they are our savior as if they are the ones that can make our lives better um, in today's society we use the word idol very loosely um, even American Idol the TV show that was on TV for a while for several seasons um, you know American Idol like we idolize these beautiful people that get on and sing for us and act for us and Whatever. And it's okay to admire people like that, especially if they're good and have good character and stuff. But it's when all of our focus and attention and resources are going to that idol. Like we can't, like we think about it all the time. We, we're constantly, it's on our minds. It's, you know, it's, we're doing it. It's, it's just, we put all of our resources and energy into it when it becomes an idol. And anything that we do that to we're taking away from Christ, from our relationship with Jesus. And that is where the sin comes in. That is where we are making something an idol and not putting Christ first like we need to. Um, example, I've got my little notes up here on my computer. So as I have said in other videos, if you see me looking off, that's why. Uh, other examples of idols include wealth, beauty, power, freedom, control, security, and relationships. And, you know, I never thought of that. I never considered that the pursuit of security could be an idol. You know, that we work so hard to be so secure because we're so afraid. Um, and we're making security as if it will save us, as if it hears our cries for help. And like I was saying earlier, you know, it doesn't know our past, present, and future. It can't hear our cries for help, yet we somehow think it can, think this idol can. And so I thought it was interesting that um, the pursuit of security and freedom can actually be idol worship. Uh, 
relationships, religion, and work can as well, which is easier to understand. You know, when you put any relationship above Christ, you're making it an idol. Um, and when you're putting work above Christ, anything you prioritize above Jesus Christ is considered idolatry, and it's a sin. Uh, our, okay, the verse talks about our idols are the works of our hands, um, which means that we need to look at our own lives and see what we spend our time, energy, and thoughts on to achieve. So take a minute today and just think, what am I putting more of my life into? What am I putting my resources and my focus on um, and not on, you know, and ignoring Christ for? Because there might be something that you need to reconsider and uh, maybe give up or, you know, pursue a little less of um, and start kind of turning back toward your relationship with Christ. Uh, there's another verse in the Bible, uh, 2 Kings, what is it? 2 Kings 17, um, 17, 15. And it says here, they followed worthless, worthless idols and themselves became worthless. Idols are lifeless. Idols have no worth. They have no value. So why do we follow them? It's, it's truth. It's a promise in the Bible that this is what happens. When we put idols, when we, we idolize something, we become lifeless like them. We have no life in us. We no joy, you know. But yet when we put our, when we put Jesus as our focus, He's the one that gives us life. The Word of God gives us life. So we need to learn to just make that our idol. Make the Word of God. Make Jesus. Make our relationship with Him our so-called idol. Um, anything we love more than Christ becomes an idol. Uh, just remember that idols can't speak transforming words to us. They cannot change our life for the better. They can definitely change it for the worse and make us feel feel bad, feel less joy and actually more more fear and more insecurity and definitely insecurity, If especially if we're putting like celebrities up and we're desiring to look like them or be like them, you know, it, it it's impossible. We need to be ourselves and be who Christ made us and make our creator the one we put our energy and focus on. So I hope that made sense. I feel like I was just kind of rambling and and stuff. I don't feel like I really had this together like I wanted to, um, but it just kind of spoke to me a little bit, little three minute devotion. And uh, I just thought I'd just get on and say hi and let you guys know I'm okay. And I guess that's it. I miss you guys and I will see you in my next video. Talk to you later.